Okay. Fanatec GT3 Challenge. Um, uh, we're at Watkins Glen here uh, this week, and I qualified P4, um, and I'm car number 14 in a 19 car grid. So let's see how it goes. It's Watkins Glen, and the t our track temperature is 110 degrees Fahrenheit. What could possibly go wrong? It's the second off the pace of pole position. The number one and number two uh, gridded cars are darn quick. Um, so we'll we'll see how this actually goes. This is a fixed setup race. P4, 20 minutes. And it's a 20 minute race. Sort of like racquetball that way. Follow car number 19 in the right column. And a long parade lap. Okay, Chip. Here we go. Don't fuck this up. Go, go, go. Really, man? Why do you guys do that shit on lap one? You got 20 minutes. Somebody's unhappy. Okay, high speed, fucking go. Jeez.
Dude's a pest. fast through that final sector. D4. Take it, dude. Come on, Jim. Don't panic. We'll get him back. Non-committal son of a bitch. Probably could have taken that if I really wanted it, but didn't seem worth the risk. P5. Really, dude? Really? Strange, man. I'm so sorry. Can't get away from stupidity in whatever series you drive, I guess. Fucking A. That seriously screwed me.
straight jet. Don't be intimidated by this little shit. We'll make him work for it. It's almost a disaster. I don't even know what I was doing in sixth gear. What the hell? Stay close, wait for him to make a mistake.
Whoops. Tombstone quote, the strain was just too much for him to bear. See if I can reel this other guy in here. Thank God for that runoff. <laughs> Shit. Come on, Chip. Push, push, push. We can get this guy. He ate. Trying to be kind to these tires because the trek temperature is 115 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Although I suppose I don't have to be too nice to them, it's only a 20 minute race, but still. I'd rather be sure footed than not.
wasn't a particularly graceful line through there. Breaking too late back there, I think. Eso que hiciste fue mucha presión. La verdad, ese bloqueo merece merece reporte. split uh, in a 1384 split um, out of five splits um, I uh, because that douchebag hit me from behind um, lost 0 0.08 on the safety rating um, and uh, you know I, I, I don't know I gotta take a minute and actually just sort of comment on that it's like it, you know at the end of the straight when you know you have essentially what's a 90 degree turn and you're early in the race still. I mean, it's like two, three, four, even even if it was later in the race, still, you don't break later than is sane in a, if you're that close to a car in front of you. And it looked like he either missed his braking point, wasn't looking, wasn't doing something. All the saris in the world do not take back the I rating that I lost as a result of that. I mean, rolling in fifth position, uh, you know, not great. Probably could have made 50, 50 points, maybe. Um, I had to settle for half that because the guy just wasn't paying attention and rear-ended me. And so that's the lesson really learned is, you know, don't just drive for the sake of your own benefit. Drive for the other driver on the freaking track and make good mental decisions. Because if you don't, you just tick people off. <laughs> You know, it's it's not like I had a lot invested in this. It was a 20-minute pickup race that I just sort of saw and did. But at the same time, I don't want to lose I rating. I don't want to lose safety rating because of somebody else. Now, if I make a mistake and I own that mistake, fine. And everybody does make mistakes. 
But man, it is just irritating as heck because more and more the incidents I'm involved in are not a matter of a simple mistake. Somebody losing control, you know, going a little bit, you know, uh, deep on an on a exit and catching grass or maybe hitting a curb wrong and, uh, you know, knocking stuff out. Or, you know, even trying to make a good pass and just judging it wrong is far better than literally rear-ending somebody that's been driving in front of you for a couple of laps simply because you're trying to outpace him and outbreak him but you can't outbreak somebody unless you're not in the same lane as them period end of sentence um so i'll get off my soapbox now um rant over um started uh in uh, fourth position finished in eighth position uh, managed to pull out those 22 i rating um but because of the four incidents lost four incident points lost uh, safety rating disappointing um, did not really like that very much at all. I think it was this guy, Clint Porter, um, that may have actually exited the race at that point. I don't know if he did enough damage to the car that uh, he was done at that point or if he was just embarrassed. He said, I'm sorry, uh, via the chat uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the race, but I couldn't respond because I was busy getting back on track and regaining my life. Um, you know, he, he was, you know, he qualified sixth, so he was not bad. He wasn't slow. He just made a bad decision. Lost a lot of I rating as a result of that. Um, and safety rating, of course, um, he had five incident points against him. Um, so anyway, rant over, um, not the best race, not the worst. It could have been a lot worse. So I'll take it as a win and we'll probably regroup and uh, drive in a, in another one in the not too distant future. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please like, please comment. Um, if you um, want to hear more rants, um, definitely let me know that. If you want to hear less rants, uh, definitely let me know that too. I try not to be too acidic in, in my comments um, because you, you just don't want to bring that energy to people that are watching your video. But at the same time, I mean, right? Thank you for watching. Take care. Was machen wir im Sport?